Hi guys, welcome back to my weird little YouTube channel. So before we get started in the video, I just wanted to thank you guys so, so, so much for everyone that subscribed and liked. It means a lot to me. It may not be very many at the moment, but you know what? We're a small channel and we're gonna start somewhere. So thank you guys so much. It means so, so much to me. Okay, so today I'm joined with my sister, Again. Hannah. Again. <laughs> She's back. She's um, back. So what we're gonna do? So with matching nails this time. Yes, we both got yes. our nails done. It was my birthday present to me and Hannah. And me, really? Yeah. Yeah. What can I gonna say? So for those of you who know, um, or for those of you who've seen videos previously, I mentioned that we grew up half in Germany and half in England, and we are also half German, half English. So. When we got to Germany, oh. we had to learn German. Culture shock. So what we've decided to do today is to take some German sayings and some words. German words, yeah. like super, super long. I think some of the words, one of the longest ones we have has 62 letters. 67. 67, 67 letters. I mean, how? How are you even supposed to read that? That's like longer than a tweet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't you can't put these words into Twitter because your it would, it would be a be one cool. word tweet. Yeah. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it in turns. We have a few um, sayings Options. and words in in here, and we're gonna take it in turns to put it into Google Translate and see what Google makes of German. Okay. So we're going to be using my phone, and oh, Hannah's okay. starting. Yes. Because she is the guest. And then she's gonna pick a random one and type it in, and we're gonna show okay. you at the bottom the saying, and then what it means, what it okay. should mean, <laughs> and then what ju what Google thinks it means. Am I allowed to look at this? No. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready to hear this? This is a German saying. Yeah. Okay. Do not bring me to the palm. <laughs> Do not bring, not me, bring to me, me to the palm. <laughs> it means in German it's like bring mich nicht auf die Palme. Sort of like I'm guessing it sort of means like don't like don't agitate me. Like oh. don't push me too far. It's like <laughs> Do not bring me to the palm. Oh my god. Yeah, so my goodness. Do not bring me to the palm. Yeah, otherwise we're gonna have a serious issue. If phone, you then. bring me to the palm, it's if you it's, bring me to the palm, I know what's up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I got a blue one. So these are difficult words to pronounce. So like, this one, as a foreigner, as a you foreigner, move your mouth is... in a completely different way yes. in German. So this is Schleswig-Holstein. This is a county like in Germany. Schleswig-Holstein. Uh, yep. And so what we're gonna do, so for us, this is a pretty easy word, so, but we're gonna see what well, it's English is now. Are. Yeah. Yeah. Because we know what, what yeah. how to pronounce it, but I can imagine yeah. in English it would be Sch Sch Schleswig Holstein. Sch Schleswig Holstein. Holstein. Yeah. Schleswig Holstein. Yeah. Schleswig Holstein. Schleswig Holstein. <laughs> yeah, but it's Schleswig Holstein. Holstein. But it's like it's it's a tongue twister and it's a county. It's German a is a tongue twister. Yeah, all the of whole it. Thing. All of the German language is a tongue twister. If you okay, can, I got red again. Yay! That's the saying. I love the sayings. Okay. No. Oh my god, this one is gonna sound so funny translated. Okay. okay. See if I can, because I didn't know. I bring mich nicht auf die Palme. I didn't know I didn't that know. one. Well, I could guess what it is because it's such a German thing to say. Really? Bring mich nicht auf die Palme, Hannah. You know, it's like such like, a. When I heard it though, even in German, I was just like, you don't want me to bring you to the palm? I have to always see if like the letters are written together. Because in yeah. England, these some of these words would be written apart. There. It's actually apart. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's something of sausage to me. <laughs> That's, That's something, something of sausage, sausage to me. me. It's, is that, um, that's das ist mir sowas von Wurst. Yeah. That, that's a typical saying in Germany. You say that Wurst actually means sausage. sausage. But if you say, das ist mir sowas von Wurst, it means I don't, I don't care. care. Like, I, I couldn't care less. Yeah. You know, it's like... But we use, because, you know, why not put sausage in a sentence and have it mean something That's something else. of sausage to me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like so poetic. That's something of sausage, sausage to me. <laughs> 
<laughs> Your turn. Okay. And let me see what I get. Oh my god. The German language. Uh, what two? Okay. I've also got Because the funny one. thing is also in German, like everything's backwards in English. Yeah. Like they say everything flipped yeah, around. Right, right. It's like so, if you can imagine like Yoda, the way Yoda yeah, speaks that's is how the Germans, Germans speak. speak. Okay, like don't look, I'm gonna English. So this is another saying. This is another one that like Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. There you look stupid from the laundry. Laundry. <laughs> <laughs> there you look still dumb ass Oh my god, that's so funny. So what the Google lady just said is there you look stupid from the laundry. Yeah. The German saying is da schaust du dumm aus der Wäsche. Which basically means, you know, it's like when you're surprised that, it's like for example, when you're surprised someone could do something that you didn't think they could. Yeah. You know, for example, if I said to George, watch me, I can do a backflip. And she's like, yeah, Hannah, sure, sure you can. I mean, I can't, but let's pretend I can. And then I do a backflip and then I could say, da like, schaust du dumm aus der yeah. sort of like, yeah. Now you can look at me and yes, I can do this. Yeah. And it's like, you can you look, look. It's like saying you look stupid now. Yeah, you're it's like, now like, look what you've, yeah. you know, sort of stuff. But <laughs> there you look stupid from the laundry. Okay. Okay, I've got a blue. blue. Oh, these are the ones that are difficult to yeah. pronounce. So what did you get? Oh, oh Schlittschuhlaufen. And yeah. that's like ice, ice like skating. ice skating. It means but I, ice if I put it in Google Translate, it will just translate it to it ice will skating. I'll say ice skate. Ice skate. Ice shoe walking. Let's see what it says. I feel like it will be ice shoe walking. If it, if it doesn't know the word, it might know that Schlittschuhlauf means ice skating. I think it will. Yeah, it translates it to ice skating. Okay, so I've got another saying. You ready? Yeah. No pig can read that. No pig can read that. It's does kann doch kein Schwein lesen. Oh, yeah. So it's if you're messy handwriting and you say nobody could read that. But it's like it's impossible to read. And then yeah. for some reason the Germans say that not Schwein. even a pig could yeah. read it. So, but um, it's translated No pig literally. can read that. No pig can read that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, imagine hearing that from your English teacher. <laughs> no Charlie, pig can no read pig can read that. Okay. Do you want to just go for the red ones? Yeah, one? I'm going to yeah. get the red ones. Oh, I've got like hundreds. Yeah. Maybe I didn't put back the better one. Mm. Oh my god. This is an interesting translation. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Your English is under all sow. What? Your English is under all sow? The German is then English is ist unter aller sau. Oh, that means like your English is awful. Yeah, it means like something. Terrible. Well, it's not like, like your English. It's not only used when you talk about someone's English, but it's like, oh, like it's like when it's sort of like dein Verhalten, like your your like um, your behavior is really really bad. Yeah. You know, you'd say dein Verhalten ist unter aller Sau. Yeah. Like it's under all pigs. I don't know this one. Really? Yeah. What? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! Are you yeah. ready for this? I don't know. You have a butts and blow, no idea. You have a you butt? You have a butts and blow, <laughs> no idea. Do you have no Okay, it's, I, I'll play it like closer to the camera, so maybe. You have a butt. Oh, oh you, you turn it around. You have a butt and blow, no idea. You have, you have a, a butt, butt and, and blow, no, no idea. idea. And the German saying is, <clears throat> Du hast von Tuten und Blasen keine Ahnung. I don't know how you would like, it's kind of just that. sort of like when someone, you haven't heard of that? It's like when someone sort of basically tries to take authority you so know, like from you. Have you no idea and it's like you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. It's like Tuten und Blasen is like just to like toot and everything. to blow. It's like a trumpet. Oh, wait, now I just spat. It's like, you know, to like play a trumpet, like a... Yeah. Um, it's it not called? butts and blow. It's not, but it's got nothing to do with butts or blowing. But it's like, it's about the fact that you have no idea what you're talking about and they yeah. use the reference of... Um, Okay. Oh god, this is gonna be badly translated. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> what? This is probably the best. Okay. Of all of them. Okay. Oh, I just turned your phone off. Go on, play it. You go beastly on the biscuits. What? <laughs> you go beastly on the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and you go beastly on the biscuit. <laughs> And it's in German, du gehst mir tierisch auf den Keks. Oh. <laughs> you go beastly on the biscuit. <laughs> you biscuit beast. <laughs> so basically, oh in German, when you say auf den Keks, Keks is a biscuit. And but like, you, if you it's say like, auf den like, Keks, auf den Keks is like you're, you're annoying, you're agitating someone. And it's like, <laughs> tierish is like animalistically. But it's it's just a but way to say it's like way, so yeah, but much. But in this sentence, yeah, it means like it doesn't mean animally. You're really like, annoying yeah, me. It's like super not, super. <laughs> not your beastly on, on the, the biscuit. <laughs> oh, oh God. it's another pig. Oh dear. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. I think my pig whistles. <laughs> you think my pig whistles? What? I think that? my pig whistles. Ich glaube mein Schwein five. I don't know what that means. Neither do I. <laughs> like. It's like, I think you've gone mad. After consultation, yes. it doesn't mean what we know. <laughs> it means that when, it's like, I'll believe it when I see pigs fly. Yeah. That's pretty much what it is. It's like, you'll it's never like see so a pig shocked. fly, you'll never ha hear a pig whistle. That it's like, if you see something happening so much. that you never thought you'd see, you say, it's like I, can't I believe think my, my pig is whistling. It's a biscuit jar, a beastly biscuit jar. So hungry, my stomach's oh my god, this is going to be like bad. Oh yeah, yeah, it's translated. It's kind of interesting. Okay. I don't know why Google Translate has translated it this way. It's <laughs> okay. Bit, like, it's just wrong. Okay. But Well, has I'll it been... on my feet right away. I'll be on my feet right away. Yeah, but the saying is, ich mach mich gleich auf die Socken. Oh, so it's I don't know why it's translated socks, socks to, to feet. feet. Yeah. Which is wrong. Yeah. Socks are socks. Socken are socks. Yeah. Socken aren't feet. Yeah, and it's technically like, it made sense. I'll be, I'll on, be on my, my feet right away. away. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't say that. But no. I mean, it's like the German saying means sort of like, oh, like I'll get going straight away. It's yeah. like, ich mach mich auf die Socken. Why yeah. do they use socks instead of shoes or feet? No, no, I don't know. It's socks. But it has an odd translation. I don't know. Maybe they knew that saying. I don't know. So we've chosen the last two because yeah. apparently these are the funniest and we're kind of running a little okay. bit out of time. Oh god, this is gonna be like, I don't even know. I If someone said to me, translate this, I'd be like, what? yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for this? My dear Mr. Singing Club. <laughs> My dear Mr. My Sing dear Mr. Mr. Singing, Singing Club. <laughs> My lieber Herr Gesangfall. <laughs> It's actually a very odd thing to say if you translate it into yeah. English and you're like, why are you talking about But it's like, it's club? like, but it's the same thing if you talk in English about you have a screw loose and you would translate yeah, it like, into German. Du hast eine Schraube locker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, mein lieber Herr Gesangverein means sort of like, it's when you're sort of like. Mark says all the time. Yeah. Lieber Herr Gesangverein. So basically what it's sort of like, when you're like super annoyed, annoyed. at someone yeah. and you're just sort of just like, oh Jesus, will you stop? Yeah. You know, and that's when you say, my lieber Herr Gesangsverein. And the yeah. Gesangsverein is like, it's like a choir. choir. It's yeah. not a singing club, but <laughs> directly translated, it is a singing club, but it's meant yeah. like a like a choir, sort of a yeah. singing get together, like a singing group and stuff yeah. like that. So, Okay, last one, last one. <coughs> yeah. What is this juice shop? What is this juice shop? What's the Was juice? Is this here for in <laughs> Okay, well that's, it's translated into something really cute, yeah. kind of like, oh it's a juice what shop. this juice it's shop? <laughs> but it's like, um, like Saftladen, like Saft is juice, yeah. Laden is a shop. But and it's there like, are Laden, <coughs> which yes. is like a shop where well, you go make to get juices. juice. But it's, what it means, it's like, where you would say it as probably like for a boss or when you're criticizing someone's business. And, <clears throat> or like if you're a really unhappy customer and you're like, get me the manager. Yeah. Sort of like, what a crap right. shop. And then you sort is of it? say, yeah. sort of like, was ist das hier für ein Saftladen? Like, so if it's, it's a kind of calling it a joke. Yeah. It's like, because it's not a juice shop, it's like you're referring to it as something that it's not. And what is this for juice some shop? reason, it's got this like bad connotation of sort of, this is a crap business. Yeah. So it's like, 
you know, for some reason what the Germans call it a juice shop. So. So on that note, we will leave you guys. Yes. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Beep, 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 beep. Yep. Subscribe if you like this video and all my other videos. And turn Maybe. the bell on. And oh yeah, notifications if you guys want to know when I'm posting videos. If you guys don't, that'll be a shame. But I always post videos every Sunday at 6.30. 6 um, I think it'd be quite interesting if you guys speak a language other than English and you guys have some yeah. crazy words or something that doesn't make sense, post it in the comments below. I'd be very interested to see. And give them a go. Yeah, and then try <laughs> reading them and yeah. see, see if, it, like, if it's just as messed up as German is. Yeah. Um, other than that, oh, okay, I will have my links to my Twitter, my Instagram, my, there's a fluff, okay, Facebook and my blog in the description. 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 <laughs> I say that all the time. I'm just going to say comment section. You guys know what I mean. Yeah. I mean the description section below. Um, yeah, other than that, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video on Sunday. Bye! Bye.